Hello everyone and welcome to Dress My Craft YouTube channel. This is designer Jeshri this side. Today I'm going to share with you a process tutorial on how to make a mixed media layout using the very beautiful and recently launched Love Blooms paper pad. But before we get started, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you're new here. To begin with, I have here the Love Blooms paper pack. It has beautiful papers with great color combinations as well as different designs. A few of the pages also have foiling on them. I am beginning by taking chipboard as my base and then using two different types of pattern papers to create my base. I am using simple tear method to tear off these designs as per my requirement. Once I'm satisfied with the designs and papers I want in their places, I'm next using a cardboard piece and removing its backing so that the corrugated side of the cardboard is visible and usable. You can also directly use a corrugated sheet if you have. Once I'm satisfied with all the things I want in place, I'm going to adhere them using different mediums like glue and double side foam tape. Next, I'm using heavy gesso white to give a nice coat of white gesso on the top of the corrugated side of the paper as well as a very light white wash on the designer paper in the bottom. Once the gesso dries, I am going in with a mixed media stencil from Dress My Craft and using some modeling paste adding texture here and there in different places. I apologize for the next step as my camera got shut. I used a different stencil to add a little floral background in the bottom side as well. Once the modeling paste dries, I am using some scrap pieces of red card stock as well as some book pages along with some scrap pieces of paper from the paper pack itself to create a layering behind my chipboard frame on top of which my picture will go. Once I am 
am satisfied with the layering i am using some acrylic paints and powder pigments to add very light blush pink color on the stenciled design i am adding the color on the paper directly and then spraying it with water to move it around i am also dabbing off the extra water with my tissue paper dress my crafts paper are very sturdy as they are of 240 gsm and can withstand any amount of water put directly on them I'm assembling everything. I have created a few flowers using the newly launched 6 petal retro flower die set. I'm going to be using these handmade flowers for layering along with some fussy cutout elements from the pattern paper itself. I'm also using a couple of banners for my composition and I'm using foliage and leaves die set number 13 for my leaves in cut out in black cardstock. This will give a nice contrast to my layout.
everything is set in place and the composition is ready for the final touches i'm using the newly launched heart sequence family pack along with little hearts and set with heart sequence i'm using my liquid glue to adhere these i'm simply applying my liquid glue here and there in certain places as well as in the flower centers to apply these three different types of sequences And here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and are inspired to create your own mixed media layouts using this beautiful paper pad this Valentine's Day. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.